Bienvenue, taking a stroll down the Champs-Élysées, starting at the Arc de Triomphe, which was commissioned by Napoleon to celebrate the victory at Austerlitz. This was my first 6B V4 in France. It took me a couple of days and many tries to succeed. My fingers are on tiny, tiny holds and bringing my left foot up was the crux. The Champs-Élysées may be the most famous street in the world. I wear a helmet when I climb by myself. I was a little scared here until I figured out the moves to the top. The Champs-Élysées is also known for shopping, including Hugo Boss, which is where I bought this handsome coat. The starting moves and bad footwork made this one a hard, albeit a short, boulder. I climbed this crack with a rope when I was still healing from my collarbone surgery. I had not been on it in over a year, and it shows with the bad footwork, but I was still happy I got it the first go. Of course, Louis Vuitton is one of the most famous stores in Paris. This boulder is kind of unique because it starts on top of the boulder, climbs across it, and then ends up back on top of the boulder. La Dure is our favorite and probably the most famous macaron baker in the world. I'm going to go buy some. Love this diamond shaped boulder and the climb that climbs up this arete to the top. It gets high enough that you actually get a little worried about hitting that small pad down below. I was showing off here a little bit by taking both hands off the rock. The Renault dealership featuring this beautiful Formula One. Which is right next to our favorite burger shop, Five Guys. I wouldn't have eaten so much Five Guys, maybe I wouldn't fall so much. At this small, beautiful park called Squad de Berlin, there is a piece of the Berlin Wall. This boulder problem was not too hard, but had a lot of fun moves in it. Very enjoyable. A Charles de Gaulle statue in front of Grand Palais, which is a museum I was not able to get to before lockdown. I believe that I am one of the few people to climb this using the crack. It was hard, flaring hand to a flaring fist. My hand slipped and I fell on my back on an earlier attempt. Georges Clemenceau was the prime minister through the end of World War I. This dino move is just fun. It is what I thought most climbing would be like when I started climbing 30 years ago. A view of the Place de Concorde where you can see the meeting place of the National Assembly, Palais Bourbon. The Place de Concorde was also known as Place de Révolution. It is where King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette were beheaded. 
The undercling and the heel hook made this a very nice climb, but I was still glad to have a spotter with those rocks down below me. Les Jardins des Tuileries are magnificent. I could spend most of my day there. This is my first 6C V5 problem I've ever done. The holds were so slopey and very, very pumpy. Pulling over on these holds and getting my heel up to make the dynamic reach to the top was the crux. I was so happy after I grabbed that. Musée du Louvre, the largest museum in the world in one building.